Hello friends, uh, welcome to yet another session from Defense IAS Academy. Today we are going to see about the dance forms in India. So let's start. So India is uh, basically known for its uh, rich cultural heritage and uh, dance is the main part of its art and culture. And also India has uh, the diversification as an identity. Uh, it means uh, there are uh, different types of religion, different types of culture and different types of uh, traditions uh, coexisting in the same country. So it uh, leads way to diversification which is the identity of the country and uh, Indian dance is one of the uh, revered uh, identities of our culture. Okay, so the Indian dance has been uh, spoken everywhere in the world. So it is one of the main identities of our culture. And uh, this uh, dance has always been highly sacred and then potent, potent, uh, potent art form in India. And uh, dance can also be told as the expression of happiness and joy. And uh, in India, uh, basically the dance forms are classified into two categories, classical dance and uh, folk dance. And uh, the classical dance or the Shastriya Nurtya, it's uh, actually uh, the various art forms or uh, performance forms uh, which are uh, rooted in, uh, in the religious Hindu musical theatre styles and uh, whose uh, practice and theory can be traced to the Sanskrit text Natya Shastra and uh, these classical dances are recognized by the Sangeet Natak Academy and the Ministry of Culture Government of India. Next we have the uh, folk dance. Uh, the folk dance are uh, mainly uh, particular to a region. It's not like around the country. It's like particular for a region or a, a state. This uh, dance forms have been originated from different parts of India as per the uh, local uh, tradition. Now uh, folk dance, uh, it's actually helps in exploring the uh, landscape of India, the cultural landscape of India. Uh, um, basically, we can say that each state and each region has a unique folk dance form which is depending on the myths and the legends of that particular state and region. So it is a uh, mixture of a composite art. So that means uh, it is a mixture of the myths and legends, the uh, cultural landscapes uh, together uh, forms the uh, folk dances. And these folk dances doesn't have any particular uh, training or uh, particular uh, uh, tradition. It is just like a spontaneous art form and uh, it is not confined to a certain uh, set of people or section of people or particular locality. And uh, the knowledge of these folk dances is passed down from one generation to another generation. So, uh, in this picture we can see that uh, the art forms are divided into two types, visual art forms and performing art forms. The visual art forms are uh, which we see, okay, uh, which we can uh, recognize or which we can, uh, which we get, gives us visual uh, uh, satisfactions. So, the visual art comes as uh, paintings, the architecture, the sculpture and the uh, poetry. And uh, the performing arts is something that we can see like uh, we can see the uh, performance and uh, we uh, we can uh, evaluate the performance and we can uh, like uh, it, it uh, gives us more happiness and joy. So the performing art can be classified into the dance, the languages that are spoken and also the theater the arts and the puppetry forms. So I just want to say that the Indian dance comes under the performing art form. Okay. And uh, now we will see in detail about what the classical dances of India. So which region is having what type of classical so a brief uh, introduction to the classical dance. The classical dance originated from the, originated from the Natya Shastra. There are eight classical dance forms in India as per the uh, source and uh, as per the scholars. 
the cultural ministry of india has included the chow in the list of classical dances that make a total of nine classical uh, dance forms and uh, these classical dance forms are uh, mainly um, uh, like uh, ha, 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 uh, mainly have three aspects one is natya next is nritya and uh, uh, and uh, the third one is nrta uh, so the natya is like the highlights the dramatic element and the most dance forms uh, do not give emphasis to this aspect today with the exception of uh, dance drama forms like uh, kathakali and the nrtyas essentially it's like expressional okay it is performed specially to convey the meaning of a theme or an idea and uh, the nritta it's like a pure dance where body movements do not express any mood or uh, they do not convey any meaning so the classical aspects have three forms one is natya which is completely at the dramatic element next is nritya which is um, basically based on expression and the third one nritta which is a pure dance and uh, it doesn't have any um, meaning or it doesn't convey any uh, meaning okay and uh, the uh, classical dance is uh, basically uh, dependent on the rasanubhuti means the eight rasas that is uh, explicitly shown with the uh, classical dance so the uh, rasanubhuti is the ultimate aim of these dance forms and uh, while speaking about uh, these rasas the natya shastra has uh, eight rasas and they are uh, one is shringar which shows the love uh, the second is hasya which shows the humor third is karuna which shows uh, sorrow fourth is uh, raudra which shows the anger form then fifth is veer which is the heroism then sixth is bayanak where uh, they show the uh, fear then uh, seven is uh, bibarts which shows uh, disgust and uh, eight is abhut which is uh, which adbhut which is uh, wonder okay it shows the excitement the wonder okay so that are the eight uh, rasas that comes in the classical dance of uh, india now uh, according to the region wise or according to the origin wise uh, which are the uh, uh, classical dances uh, in india okay so uh, i have uh, i have given a table over here which uh, list the uh, classical dances in india and also the state of origin so here we can see that bharatanatyam has its origin from uh, tamil nadu uh, and uh, kathak has an origin from uttar pradesh kuchipudi has an origin from andhra pradesh odissi has an uh, uh, like uh, origin from odisha kathakali is from kerala Satriya is from Assam, Manipuri is from Manipur and Mohini Atam is from uh, Kerala. So uh, this is the uh, map of India where you can see the uh, like uh, the table form that I have uh, shown in the earlier uh, slide uh, is being uh, like uh, depicted as a picture over here. You can here you can very well see that. Mohini Atam and uh, Kathakali it belongs to uh, south side the Kerala then Bharatanatyam is from Tamil Nadu Kuchipudi is for Andhra Pradesh Odissi is in Orissa Kathak is originated in Uttar Pradesh Satya is from uh, Assam and uh, Manipur has Manipuri okay so that forms the eight uh, uh, art, uh, classical art forms of uh, India among this uh, now uh, the kuchipudi uh, it's it, it was recently in news because uh, it uh, earned a place in guinness book of world records when uh, 6117 dancers from all over the world performed together in a single show in vijayawada and uh, now what is a kuchipudi dance it is a dance that originated in a kuchipudi village which is in the krishna district of the andhra pradesh and uh, it was conceived or it was uh, this form started in the 17th century by the vaishnava poet uh, Sid, uh, siddhendra yogi okay and uh, it begins with an invocation of uh, invocation to lord ganesha which is followed by nritta 
nritta which is a non narrative pure dance and uh, then uh, it uh, then following with a nritya that is a narrative dancing and then with the natya okay and the uh, dance is mainly performed on a carnatic music where a singer is accompanied by musical instruments like a mridangam violin flute or uh, tambura and uh, now talking about uh, mohini atam uh, it is an uh, solo dance uh, from kerala which is performed by uh, women it can uh, the um, dancer who is uh, uh, acting it out is called as and can be interpreted as a mohini the female form that is taken by uh, vishnu to kill uh, basmasura this dance form of kerala was uh, structured into the present day classical format by the travancore kings uh, maharaja kartika tirunal and his successor maharaja swati tirunal which was mainly in the 18th to uh, 19th century okay and uh, the references of this mohini atam can be uh, seen in uh, various uh, text that was written back in 1709 uh, like the uh, vyavahar mala and um, by uh, the Ma Ma maya mangalam narayanan nambudri and in uh, Koshi Yatra written later by great poet Kunjan Nambiar. Okay, so the movements uh, of uh, the uh, Mohini Atam, it was mainly borrowed from the Nankiyar Kutu and the female folk dancers Kai Kutugali and the Thiruvadira Kali. Okay, so that is with the uh, a brief description about uh, Mohini Atam. So, now uh, let us see. Uh, the uh, dance forms how like uh, uh, you, you can a, a picture that represents the different uh, dance forms you can uh, see uh, the Bharatanatyam, Kathak, Kuchipudi, Odissi, Kathakale, Satriya, Manipuri and Mohini Atam over here uh, it's like uh, very well expressed uh, dance forms and uh, interesting ones okay so that's with the uh, classical dances of india now let us see the folk dances of india which is particular uh, which is uh, based on a particular region and uh, which doesn't have a particular uh, tradition to follow and uh, or uh, mm, which doesn't have a basic structure to uh, follow okay so the uh, folk uh, dances of india uh, is an uh, yeah, as we said it is like uh, uh, mainly dependent on the landscape uh, the cultures of the uh, landscape india is a land of like uh, diverse cultures and traditions so uh, india can india have a vast range of uh, dance forms uh, whether it is folk or classical okay so now we can say that uh, the uh, dialect or the language of uh, uh, language in india it change almost like uh, uh, every 100 kilometers so we can say that the folk dances uh, style dress artist etc also change from region to region and uh, there are uh, four uh, seasons uh, mainly uh, there are four seasons in india and so uh, different seasons also have uh, different kinds of folk songs uh, and um, there are also uh, uh, harvest songs for uh, every uh, state like uh, there is a uh, one dedicated song or a dance uh, uh, for every state at the time of harvest and uh, folk dances mainly can be said as an expression uh, which uh, uh, reflects your happiness uh, sorrow or a different mood of the society and uh, it has evolved from uh, like uh, over the years it's not like a um, spontaneous thing uh, it hap that happened it, it, was, it, it had uh, evolved and became a folk dance over the years bringing the uniqueness and novelty to the indian culture now we will see the different uh, folk dances uh, that are uh, particular to a region now uh, first is uh, andhra pradesh uh, like we are uh, dealing with the uh, alphabetical order so just like uh, first to get andhra pradesh now what are the different folk dances or folk art forms in andhra pradesh which is uh, its kuchipudi vilasini natyam andhra natyam uh, 
బామాకల్పం వీరనాట్యం దప్పు తపేటు గుళ్ళు లంబాడి దింస కోలాటం ముట్ట బొమ్లు దీస్ ఆర్ ది డిఫరెంట్ ఆర్ట్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అండ్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు సే అబౌట్ ది తపేటు గుళ్ళు ఇట్ ఈస్ అ డాన్స్ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీకాకుళం డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఇట్ దిస్ ఇన్ దిస్ డాన్స్ ఫార్మ్ దేర్ ఆర్ టెన్ పర్సన్స్ పార్టిసిపేట్ సింగింగ్ సాంగ్స్ ఇన్ ప్రైస్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ లోకల్ గాడస్ ది డాన్సర్స్ మెయిన్లీ యూస్ డ్రమ్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ హంగ్ అరౌండ్ దేర్ నెక్స్ టు ప్రొడ్యూస్ రిథమ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో దే హ్యావ్ అ టింగ్లింగ్ బెల్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ టైడ్ అరౌండ్ దేర్ వేస్ట్ Uh, to form a uh, part of their uh, costume and only uh, men perform this uh, dance traditionally and uh, the theme and the subjects of this dance uh, comes uh, from uh, ramayanam and uh, mahabharata it's like uh, the theme comes from ramayana and mahabharata so i was talking about the uh, tapetu gullu which i am, i am highlighting right now over here so that's with the uh, dance songs of uh, andhra pradesh and uh, next is assam uh, in assam you can uh, see the folk uh, forms are bihu which is like an important dance form of assam so it's like uh, asked for many of the exams uh, the uh, relation between assam and bihu then uh, next next is like the bichua the nat puja maharas kali gopal Bagurumba, Naga Dance, Khel Gobal, Tabal, Chungli, Kanoi, Jumura, Hobjanai. So these are the different uh, folk uh, uh, art forms of Assam. Uh, like uh, if, uh, I am sorry if I have mispronounced something, uh, please uh, pardon me. so uh, we have seen a list of uh, dancers in assam but among this as i told earlier bihu is the important one uh, like where uh, it is like uh, it's a form of a group dance where uh, males and females uh, dance uh, together but they maintain a separate uh, gender roles uh, gender roles uh, in general like uh, females follow a stricter line or circle form- formations and the male dancers or the musicians enter the dancing area first and maintain their lines and follow synchronized uh, patterns and uh, also when the female dancers enter the male dancers break up their lines to mingle with the female dancers okay and uh, it is usually characterized by uh, specific uh, postures uh, the movement of hips and uh, the arms the wrist the twirls the squats and the bends so uh, the male and the female uh, f- perform this uh, dance movements very similar to each other and uh, with only like uh, uh, unnoticeable uh, differences and uh, the dance is performed to the uh, traditional bihu music the uh, most important musicians are the uh, drummers who play a twin faced drum okay which is hung in the neck, neck and uh, they have a stick in their uh, uh, hand and a palm like one side they beat with a stick and one side is uh, they beat with a uh, palm okay so the bihu dance is basically uh, performed for the uh, with the uh, with the traditional uh, bihu music okay and the next uh, uh, you can see you have uh, the naga dance uh, the bichua dance uh, then the bortal dance okay all those uh, folk dances which are a part of the uh, assam uh folk dances uh, assam uh, folk dances uh actually uh, jumar is a kind of uh, important dance in assam uh, but it's not uh, uh, uh it, it, yeah it, it's listed as a part of the uh, la- last like it's the last one jumura it is uh, a traditional dance form of uh, the adivasi or a tea tribes uh, community of assam uh 
this dance is performed by young boys and girls together and uh, the male uh, members actually wear long traditional dresses and uh, keep the rhythm with a few traditional music uh, instruments like the dhol or uh, the uh, mandar which is uh, hung on their shoulders and uh, they can also have a flute and a pair of uh, tal which is uh, two metallic discs that are uh, clinked together or uh, they clapped together to make uh, beautiful rhythms and then uh, the girls mostly perform the uh, dancing part uh, with they hold uh, each other's waist and move hands and leg towards uh, forward and uh, backward direction synchronously and uh, so basically the boys uh, play the uh, uh, mu play the uh, instruments and the girls are uh, uh, doing the dance forms and uh, this dance form is a uh, uh, huge uh, uh, yeah, like a huge uh, part of a lot for uh, an important part of the tea tribe uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, dominated in the uh, parts of uh, Assam like uh, Udalguri, Sonitpur, Golghakad, Jorhat, uh, Sivasagar etc. Okay. So that's with uh, the folk uh, dance art forms of Assam. Uh, like uh, I've told the ma major ones, the other things are not uh, that important. Okay. So now coming to the uh, folk art forms of Bihar. Uh, here we have uh, Jeta Jitin, the Bakho, Bakhain, or uh, Biraha the Panvariya, Jumari, Sohar and uh, Jijiya uh, where uh, the important uh, art form is uh, actually the Jata Jatin uh, which is uh, especially followed in the uh, Mithila region and uh, it uh, is an art form which uh, usually used to represent the, the uh, affection or uh, quarrel between the married uh, couple. Then uh, you have uh, Jumari which is uh, similar to the Garba of uh, Gujarat and uh, then uh, you have uh, the Sohar which is uh, mainly uh, uh, mainly uh, like played or uh, the dance form is uh, done uh, mainly on childbirth and uh, you have the Jijia which is uh, mainly uh, a dance form that is related to the uh, rain. So the uh, art forms of uh, Gujarat are Garba, Dandia Res, uh, Tipani, Jurain and uh, Bawai. Uh, again, uh, if I am mispronouncing something, please uh, pardon me. Now, uh, seeing the Garma, it is uh, one of the dance form where uh, the name is uh, derived from the Sanskrit term uh, Garba, that is uh, the womb and uh, Deep, uh, which is lamb. It is uh, performed around an uh, lamb or around uh, the goddess uh, Shakti. Uh, basically, uh, the dancers who do Garba, they have a circular and a smile, a spiral uh, movements uh, which have uh, similarities to the uh, spiritual dance that look like the uh, Sufi culture. Uh, and uh, it is uh, performed mainly during the Navratri. And uh, the movements uh, represents the cycle of uh, life from uh, birth to death with the only thing being the goddess uh, Shakti. And um, the dance uh, symbolizes that god in feminine form in Garba. So it's the only, uh, it is the only constant in the constantly changing uh, world. And uh, while performing uh, Garba, the men and uh, women usually perform, you usually wear colorful costumes uh, and uh, uh, play the uh, Garba. And uh, next uh, uh, for important art form of uh, Gujarat is called uh, the Dandiyaras, where the uh, dance actually uh, it mocks a fight between the goddess Durga and the Mahishasura, the mighty demon king. Uh, so during Dandiya, the dancers move their feet and arms in a complicated choreographed manner with the dhol being used as a complementary percussion. 
uh, instrument. So, the sticks that are used in uh, dandia uh, ras, it is called as dandias and this uh, stick uh, represent the swords of uh, Durga and uh, the costume uh, for women is uh, the traditional colorful uh, embroidered uh, choli and gagra and the men wear special turbans and the kelias and uh, the garba is usually performed before the arati in honor of uh, uh, goddess and while dandia is performed after uh, it is as a part of a uh, celebration okay so garba become uh, it, it, it's performed before the arti and uh, dandia is performed after the uh, celebration so that's with the uh, two art forms of uh, or uh, four art forms of gujarat next we will see with the uh, forms of uh, haryana in Haryana, you have uh, Jumar, uh, Fang, Dav, Damal, Lur, Guga, Khor, and Gagor. Uh, and uh, uh, if I am mispronounced something, please, I am sorry. Uh, and uh, now let's see the art forms. Uh, so, uh, the uh, Jumar dance. Uh, this uh, dance is uh, named after an ornament called Jumar. It is one of the uh, popular folk dances of uh, Haryana. And uh, this traditional dance is uh, specially performed by young girls who are uh, married. And uh, this uh, uh, dance performance uh, has uh, beads of uh, musical instruments such as uh, the dolak and the thali. And uh, the performers dress up in colorful costumes and uh, uh, have uh, or they wear uh, sparkling uh, jewelries. Okay. And in some uh, parts of uh, the state Haryana, the Juma dance is also known as uh, uh, Haryanvi Gida. It is also called as Haryanvi Gida. Next, uh, we can see the Fang dance. I hope it is pronounced Fang. Fang dance. It is uh, a dance that is performed by farmers in the month of uh, Falgun. Uh, both men and women can perform this dance. Uh, during performance, women uh, wear colorful traditional clothes, whereas men wear colorful uh, turbans. Next is the Daf dance. Uh, it is mainly a seasonal dance and is performed by farmers to uh, like uh, to have an, a bountiful uh, harvest or uh, 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 harvest like uh, on uh, when, when the uh, spring starts like uh, they uh, they expect to have a uh, good harvest at the advent of the uh, spring season and uh, the dove uh, it's like uh, or a, uh, it can also be called as a one-sided drum uh, it is uh, um, a, a, along with the uh, sounds of uh, ornaments it's like worn by the woman of, of, of for the uh, music okay so it is mainly a seasonal dance performed by the uh, farmers okay then uh, you can uh, have, see the damal dance which is uh, famous in the gurgaon area uh, where uh, uh, the where you can uh, find the ahirs uh, the origin of the dance uh, dates behind during the time of uh, Mahabharata and this uh, dance is uh, particularly performed by men only. They uh, sing and dance with the sound of the Damal beads. It is said that the people perform this dance uh, whenever their crop is ready for uh, harvest. Okay, So that is the Damal dance. Next uh, is the Lur dance. Now what is... Uh, Lure dance. Uh, lure dance is uh, before. Uh, uh, la, uh, la, sorry, uh, the lure dance. Uh, uh, the girls usually perform the uh, lure dance. They and uh, this uh, performed during the month of uh, Falguna, also known as the uh, spring season. Uh, this dance is named after the girls in the. Uh, Bangar area of uh, Haryana. It's just like the Fang. Fang is also played in the uh, uh, Falgun season, Falguna season. Uh, it is uh, it is especially performed uh, um, uh, during the uh, Holy festival. It's specially performed during the Holy uh, festival, and uh, this uh, dance is uh, marks the uh, uh, arrival of uh, pleasant spring season uh, with the. Uh, the sowing of uh, rabi crops in the 
uh, form and uh, the songs are generally in the form of questions and answers format girls usually participate in this uh, dance wearing uh, the gagra kurti uh, the chundri and the chunda so that's the low dance uh, next is the gugga dance uh, the dance is uh, named gugga by the devotees of the saint gugga the traditional folk dance of haryana called uh, the uh, gugga dance it is uh, performed exclusively by uh, men uh, it is performed in procession like uh, it is uh, performed in uh, the procession uh, taken out in the memory of saint gugga in this performance the uh, devotees dance uh, they dance uh, around the grave of uh, gugga pir uh, by singing various types of songs in his respect and praise so that is with the uh, gugga uh, dance i hope it is pronounced gugga uh, so these are the uh, various folk forms of uh, haryana next we can see the himachal pradesh so in himachal pradesh you have uh, chora jali uh, chahi dhaman chapeli uh, mahasu nati and uh, dangi these are the art forms of uh, himachal pradesh among this uh, we'll see uh, a few popular ones uh, one is the nati uh, this is uh, there are various forms of this dance uh, that is, that varies uh, from uh, region to region among the uh, folk dances from uh, himachal pradesh some of the uh, popular ones of this uh, nati dance include kullu nati the kinnauri nati the gathi nati shimla nati and so on each has its own style and its own costumes and uh, musics and uh, uh one uh, distinguishes from the other it's not uh, the same there is uh, differences in, uh, in their costumes and music and uh, the kinnauri nati is performed during a new festival and uh, the dancers uh, portray the uh, bucolic nature of the hills trees and the smooth uh, flowing rivers and the kullu nati is the most popular one it is uh, 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 it has about uh, 13 forms and is predominantly performed during the festival of dashera and uh, the dancers wear colorful uh, tunics and sway the rhythm of music uh, sway to the rhythm of music uh, and uh, it this uh, art form is uh, the kullu nati uh, it is performed for hours together till the dancers and the orchestra have all their uh, energy drained out and uh, this dance is also performed in fairs and uh, festivals then the uh, shiv badar uh, badar nati is uh, performed during the shivratri in praise of uh, lord shiva the nati uh, dance uh, mainly has two purposes one is to celebrate the new year and other is to uh, celebrate the rich harvest that is produced after a hard work in the uh, fields and uh, next uh, we, uh, next uh, uh, major uh, folk dance can be called as uh, the dangi uh, which is one of the most prominent folk dances from himachal pradesh and uh, it is uh, one of the oldest uh, folklores of uh, himachal pradesh it uh, mainly involves uh, female dancers and it is performed during the harvest season uh, in the temple of uh, goddess naina devi there are uh, different themes and variations of this dance uh, one team uh, depicts the love story of a majestic king and a common village girl other uh, depicts the business transaction between the clients and the business and uh, this uh, dance mainly can be uh, told as uh, or i can uh, it can be said as it's filled with a lot of enthusiasm and uh, vigor along with the plethora of emotions so, so these are the two most uh, important uh, dance forms uh, among uh, the ones listed uh, from himachal pradesh next is uh, jammu and kashmir uh, so jammu and kashmir has the rao the hikat the manj man, manjas khud dandi nach and the damali uh, i hope i have pronounced it uh, correctly uh please pardon me if i have gone wrong 
So uh, we'll discuss a few among the uh, listed uh, folk dances. Uh, I'll say the uh, major one uh, that is uh, our uh, famous one of uh, Jammu and Kashmir is the Rauf. Uh, it is a uh, uh, famous one in the Kashmir region. Uh, this uh, dance form is practiced on uh, festival occasions like uh, Eid and Ramzan. Uh, it is performed by a group of uh, women uh, who are standing face to face uh, each other. But uh, the notable uh, feature of this dance is uh, the uh, the footwork of the uh, dancers. Okay, uh, so one of the uh, most known dance form in all regions of uh, Jammu and Kashmir is uh, Rauf, and it is uh, generally pronounced as Rauf in villages and uh, raw in cities. Uh, this uh, dance is performed on set of spring season and has always been an integral part of uh, Kashmiri people since a very long uh, time. And uh, next is uh, the um, um, Kud dance. Uh, they, it is one of the uh, famous uh, dance of this state. Uh, it is performed in honor of the god uh, Lok Devdas as a thanksgiving ritual and is mostly done in nights. Uh, it has a lot of interesting and twisted uh, moments. Uh, unlike the other uh, dance forms, food dance, uh, young people as uh, well old people can uh, participate equally and make it more uh, interesting. That means there is no age bar for the food dance performers. The rhythm and the beats of uh, music dominate uh, in this form of dance form and the dancers uh, plan their movements accordingly. And uh, the special uh, music and instruments that are used are like uh, ch china, drums, narasinga, then the uh, flute. Okay, so uh, the spontaneity is another uh, key of this uh, kud dance. Means, uh, and the uh, performers uh, spontaneously make the uh, movements based on the uh, the rhythms played. Uh, the reason behind uh, this is that the farmers and uh, the villagers who work as uh, farmers want to uh, oblige uh, God, uh, the local deity, uh, Gram Devta, for uh, protecting their uh, cattle, the maize crops, uh, the child, children and their uh, family and their uh, family from all sorts of uh, natural calamity. So basically you can say that uh, Kud dance is uh, performed in honor of the God uh, or uh, the Log Devadas and it is a thanksgiving uh, ritual. So that's about uh, the dances uh, in Jammu and Kashmir. Next uh, Karnataka. In Karnataka you can see the dances like uh, Yakshagan, uh, Huthari, uh, Sugi, uh, Punitha, Karga, Lampi. So these are the art forms of uh, Karnataka. The first one, uh, Yakshagan. Actually, uh, Yakshagan is not an uh, folk art. It is a uh, popular uh, traditional theatre of uh, India, uh, which is performed in coastal and uh, Malindu re Mal Malenadu regions. Uh, which is a blend of dance, music, songs, uh, dialogues and colorful costumes. The word uh, Yakshagan uh, means uh, celestial music and the dance drama is performed during the night usually uh, like uh, where when the winter crops has been uh, harvested. Okay. Next is the uh, Kunita. Uh, so, the Kunita is a ritual dance, uh, it is a, a ritual dance of uh, um, Karnataka. One such dance is uh, the Dolu Kunita which is a popular form of uh, uh, dance and is accompanied by singing and the beats of uh, decorated drums. Uh, the dance is primarily performed by men from the shepherd or the uh, Kuruba caste. The Dolu Kunita is uh, characterized by vigorous drum beats, uh, quick movements, and synchronized group formations. So, um, you have uh, a lot of uh, uh, type of uh, Kunita dance. It's a ritual dance, as we said. Uh, you have a Sumana Kunita, where uh, it is a 
uh, it's a celebratory form of guardian spirit worship uh, which is popular in southern karnataka then you have the sugi kunita uh, where uh, it's a harvest dance it is performed during the harvest time mostly by the farming community uh, etc so that is the kunita and the sugi kunita dance then uh, Mm, then uh, any other dance that I left out? Uh, I think uh, I think I have uh, told uh, everything. Uh, the kar karaga dance uh, I left that. Uh, the karga dance, uh, the karga dance. It is the dance performed by the uh, uh, tiglas. Uh, it's a metal pot on which. Uh, uh, the, uh, the the uh, pot on which they stand tall, the floral pyramid, and uh, which is balanced on the carrier's head. The content of the pot are secret. The carrier's arrival is uh, hurled by hundreds of uh, bare-chested, uh, dhoti-clad, turbaned uh, Veera Kumaras with the uh, unshed, uh, like unshed swords, unshed. Swords. Okay, so that's the uh, karga uh, folk folk art of uh, Karnataka. So now uh, let us see uh, the next one, which is uh, Kerala. Kerala has uh, the art forms like uh, Kathakali, uh, which is the classical art form, and uh, Otam Tullal, uh, then. Uh, uh, Mohini Atam and uh, Kai Kotikali. So these are the four card forms of uh, Kerala. Mm -hmm. Kathakali is an uh, impressive form of uh, classical dance that has uh, origin that uh, dates back uh, 500 uh, years ago in southern state of Kerala. It is an uh, perfect uh, combination of uh, dance, drama, music and uh, some uh, religious theme. And Kathakali is uh, treated or uh, considered as uh, one of the uh, world's oldest form of uh, theatre. And uh, in Malayalam, the local language of uh, Kerala, uh, the Kathakali means a story play. That's Katha, that is a story, and Kali is play. The word is split into two. Katha is story, and Kali is uh, play. So that is the Kathakali, and. Uh, uh, we can uh, say that uh, the Kerala and Kathakali are so attached or identified by each other. Uh, if you say uh, Kerala, always uh, around through the uh, throughout the world, they recognize with a light uh, through. Uh, not like uh, you can say that uh, they everyone uh, understands uh, the art form of. Uh, uh, Kerala to be uh, Kathakali and uh, this uh, dance is uh, unique throughout the world and it's mainly performed by uh, men okay it is mainly performed by men next is uh, the Mohini Atam which is a solo performance and it is a uh, famous and a sensual uh, uh, sensual uh, classical dance form of uh, Kerala which has a lot of uh, graceful movements. It is usually performed by a women dancer and uh, the name uh, like uh, the Mohini Atam, the name Mohini itself uh, means that uh, maiden and the Atam means uh, dance. Uh, Mohini Atam it's like a blend of uh, Bharatanatyam and uh, Kathakali as it uses the elements of all these dances and uh, uh, it, it is like a very elegant and uh, graceful uh, uh, dance uh, to see and it's like a very mesmerizing uh, it, it has a lot of mesmerizing eye moments and uh, this dance was originated in the early uh, 16th century and it is uh, recognized one of the eight uh, Indian classical dances by the Sangeet uh, Natak uh, Academy. Then uh, we have uh, Tiruvadra Kali uh, uh, that is not mentioned over here. Tiruvadra Kali is also a very important part of the Kerala tradition and uh, which is performed during the harvest uh, uh, season or harvest festival of Kerala uh, which is Onam and uh, this uh, this uh, uh, 
uh, dance is mainly performed by the women for folk and uh, they move in circular uh, movements uh, with a uh, rhythm uh, and uh, this uh, songs played in this uh, particular uh, dance form is called uh, the tiruvadra uh, songs and uh, then we have the autumn tullal and the uh, kaikoti kali also as the uh, folk dance forms of uh, kerala and uh, autumn tullal uh, here it dates back to the 18th century and uh, the uh, uh, it is said that uh, uh, the uh, uh, autumn tullal is uh, uh, like uh, uh, it's created by a famous uh, malayalam poet uh, kale uh, kale kattu uh, kunjan nambiyar and uh, it is a group dance performed uh, wearing an uh, makeup and a vibrant costume the dance uh, the dancer usually uh, narrates a story based on a uh, mythology okay so that is the uh, autumn tullal then uh, then then you have a lot of forms like uh, theyam koodi uh, atam kolkali uh, Kol Kali, here it is mentioned as uh, Kai Koti Kali, like you have also Kol Kali. So, there are a lot of uh, other uh, folk forms also in uh, uh, Kerala. Next is uh, Maharashtra, where you have uh, Lava, Lavani, uh, Nakata, Koli, uh, Lezim, Gafa, Dahikala, Dasavdar, uh, Bohada. I hope I have read everything correctly. Uh, sorry if I have read something wrong. And uh, among this, uh, Lavani is the uh, most important uh, folk form of Maharashtra. Uh, Lavani can be called as the most prominent uh, dance form of uh, Maharashtra. The word uh, Lavani means is derived from lavanya meaning uh, beauty uh, this form is uh, actually a combination of dance and music uh, which is dealt with uh, different and varied uh, topics uh, such as society religion politics romance etc and um, the word uh, lavani is uh, uh, lavani is derived from the word lavanya meaning beauty uh, actually women perform this dance in their uh, traditional attire uh, which is called as the Naviri or the Nine Yard Sari. Uh, women dance to the beats of uh, Dolak or the instrument similar to a drum and uh, they elegantly this uh, drape this Nine Yard uh, Sari and uh, uh, like uh, the dance is uh, performed for the uh, relaxation of uh, tired soldiers of the uh, Maratha army like in earlier days it was told like that this dance was performed for the relaxation of the tired uh, soldiers and uh, next is the Dangari Gaja the Dangari Gaja which is uh, uh, the uh, the Dangaras of uh, Sholapur district of Maharashtra, uh, like they heard to green pastures for grazing of their uh, cattle and they became aware with the nature. So, inside by the scenic beauty, they compose uh, poetry uh, called as the OV writing about the nature and their god Viruba. So, the uh, Dangari Gaja dance is performed by the shepherd community called the Dangaras uh, belonging to the Sholapur district of Maharashtra. So, it is uh, the shepherds graze their cattle in the pasture and became acquainted with the nature. And uh, the uh, poetry consists of uh, couples called the Ovi glorifying the birth of God. Biruba and uh, this uh, uh, dance is mainly performed to uh, please the uh, Lord. Okay, and uh, the uh, dress uh, dress or the costume is uh, they wear uh, colorful tunics, uh, dhotis and handkerchiefs and uh, sway in sing to the beats of the uh, drum. Okay, so that is the uh, Dangari Gaja of. Uh, uh, Maharashtra, uh, it's not uh, listed over here. 
uh, then uh, we have what other art forms we have the koli uh, art form uh, the it's a dance form uh, of uh, koli fisher folk of uh, maharashtra they have uh, their own distinct identity and uh, lively dances uh, with each other this dance incorporates the elements uh, of uh, this community that they are familiar with that is uh, sea and fishing so the dance elements are mainly related to sea and fishing and uh, the uh, dancers wear costumes uh, which represent the fisher folk community and uh, the women uh, usually wear green sarees and men uh, wear lungis the performance is usually done in row and rows or uh, in pairs and uh, the song used uh, uh, like in uh, this dance form is not like it's not a particular song there are a lot of uh, songs that are used in this uh, dance forms and uh, the dance uh, the, da the theme or uh, what they try to depict through this dance is the uh, hardships and the struggles they face in their livelihood okay so that is uh, they depict the the sufferings or the hardship that they face in their living through the koli uh, folk dance then um, what other dance form the so this is about the uh, uh, major dance forms like we have discussed uh, lavani nakata uh, sorry uh, one the uh, koli then uh, one more uh, dance form uh, what is uh, the dangari gaja which is not listed over here uh, so that's with the uh, folk forms of uh, maharashtra next is odisha odisha has uh, odc uh, which is the classical form uh, then it have uh, savari bhumara uh, painka munari and uh, chau these are the art forms of uh, odisha so we'll see the uh, popular ones in this list uh, as uh, Uh, listed odisha is a classical dance uh, odisha is a classical dance which is a popular uh, classical dance which comes in the eight uh, list of the eight uh, classical dance forms of uh, india then uh, the uh, next uh, uh, dance form that we have over uh, here is the uh, gumara dance uh, the gumara dance uh, uh, it's one of the folk dances of odisha and uh, it was identified an uh, independent dance form because it has uh, many derivatives from common classical dance forms but uh, it has come to create its own identity uh, owing to the origins and unique rules uh, the uh, the uh, it is accepted that the gumara folk dance was uh, first performed in the waterway valley of uh, indravati and then spread to the encompassing regions from that point so that is the uh, gumara dance of uh, odisha next uh, important dance that you have over here is the uh, chau chau dance i hope it is pronounced like that it is a well known folk dance of india that uh, fuses uh, components of uh, combative techniques with itself uh, it is practiced in uh, orissa west bengal and charkan it is uh, believed that this word uh, to this uh, word is uh, word chau uh, it's believed to be Uh, originated from uh, the sanskrit uh, word chaya which implies uh, veils shadow or uh, picture uh, while different uh, researchers accept that the word originate from uh, chauni which means the military camp okay there are uh, three subtypes of this uh, folk dance one is the puraliya chau uh, next is the mayur bang chau and the uh, serai kela chau okay now uh, the subjects uh, in this three uh, dance forms are uh, contrast to each other so as to keep the uh, sanctity uh, sanctity of this uh, move the artist scrub down and do puja before uh, performance okay 
and uh, the chow was the most sought after dance of the uh, jain and the uh, buddhist uh, period so that are the important dance forms of uh, odisha uh, we have the best bengal uh, in best bengal you have the kathi dance uh, gambhira uh, dhali chatra baul marasya mahal kirtan these are the folk forms of uh, west bengal okay uh, we'll discuss an uh, important ones among this uh, one is the uh, gambhira uh, which is uh, uh, the folk form of uh, west bengal it is a traditional and a devotional form of dance it is uh, usually uh, danced to please the goddess uh, shakti and uh, this uh, um uh, particular dance it uh, went over lot of changes over the time and it uh, led uh, to the muslim community to become a custodian of this dance uh, this uh, dance mainly revolves around the two uh, main dancers surrounding a chorus of people and uh, the two main dancers uh, have uh, uh, dancers uh, actually dance to the tune of a harmonium flute uh, drum and the judi the dancers express their uh, emotions through their dialogues and their signature dialogues which are uh, repeated by the chorus okay so mainly uh, this uh, dance mainly originated from the malda region of uh, west bengal and uh, this is the initial type of uh, the uh, initial type of this uh, folk dance was uh, agricultural based and as uh, time progressed it became a devotional type of uh, dance okay and uh, the costume uh, if you are seeing the costume uh, the dancers wear mask uh, throughout the dance and uh, this dance is uh, losing its uh, sheen but still being uh, performed and organized by people in the uh, west bengal okay next uh, important dance that uh, dance form that we have is the uh, alkap dance but uh, it's not uh, mentioned over here and uh, the chow dance uh, which we discussed earlier it is also popular in uh, uh west bengal too it uh, is uh, a renowned tribal martial dance uh, which is unique among the folk dances of the west bengal uh, uh the uh, it is uh, believed to be originated from the Puru puralia district but it's widely popular in uh, other states like odisha jharkhand etc and uh, that is the chow dance uh, it is performed during the sun festival which is celebrated during the chaitra month of the hindu calendar so that is the um, important dances of uh, west bengal okay then uh, the kirtan dance you can say it is a bhakti uh, for it is a set as a form of bhakti yoga it uh, was introduced uh, 500 years uh, ago and uh, it was introduced by narada muni who sang praises or uh, kirtans of uh, lord vishnu the most famous type of this dance was done to pay tribute to lord krishna the devotees sang out their uh, love and affection of their lord and danced as if the almighty appeared before their eyes okay so this uh, dance mainly have lot of uh, music uh, expressions drama uh, and uh, the dancers are well aware of the tune of the music and uh, the uh, expressions uh, that they have to give accordingly okay so that is with uh, west bengal uh, next is uh, the punjab the most uh, popular uh, is bangra everyone will know uh the relation between punjab and bangra next uh, uh, folk forms are gidda daaf daman bandh and nakol i hope uh, i have uh, pronounced them correctly so bangra is one of the most famous that uh, art form or dance form of uh, punjab it was uh, originally uh, de- dedicated to the harvesting but uh, it uh, uh, the modernization changed its uh, shape and uh, 
the musical equipment and evolved uh, evolved the uh, dancing patterns so the bhangra is uh, the bhangra's energy with the traditional uh, punjabi dhol and uh, uh, jang jangar has uh, gradually become popular across all the indian states the outfit uh, for uh, bhangra is uh, lungi and a buttonless uh, jacket the dancers also use uh, different colors of handkerchiefs and uh, they wear uh, turban which is a sign of uh, punjabi pride and uh, the women perform uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, dance with the uh, salwar kameez and chunni often uh, wears male dancers okay next is the giddha dance uh, the giddha dance is played by the young women of punjab uh, this uh, dance is particularly to show the women's uh, vigor and vitality and how uh, and has a colorful atmosphere it is uh, not uh, limited to any particular times also uh, the dance can be performed on any social event and the costume which uh, the uh, punjabis use are uh, the common household stuff with a few uh, decorations on it and uh, the style of uh, dance the dance style of uh, giddas is jerks the shoulder and bends the lower body segment and the clapping helps the dance as the musical instrument as well um, the dance uh, uses no musical uh, instrument okay so it is uh, performed in a large circle uh, giddha singing is called as boli or uh, billo yan uh, it is usually utilizing the emotional uh, expressions and it can also be told as a family show with all the women uh, making a beautiful presentation so with their regular singing and uh, dancing then uh, you have uh, jumar uh, as part of uh, punjab which is also known for uh, his uh, passion and uh, vivacity it's originated uh, from the regions of the balochistan and the multan this uh, dance is actually slow and has a uh, 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 slow uh, it's an it's it's actually slow and uh, has a rhythmic tempo the word jumar uh, it is derived from the word jum which means uh, swaying gently so the performances uh, of this uh, particular art form mainly focus on uh, love and their uh, emotions okay so uh, love and emotions are the major factors or uh, uh, themes of uh, this uh, song this uh, particular uh, art form so that is with uh, the um, um like a commonly or uh, the uh, popular art forms of uh, punjab next is uh, rajasthan where you have kumar uh, chakri uh, gan ganagor uh, julan leela juma suisni gapal kalbilia uh these are the art forms of rajasthan next uh, tamil nadu you have uh, bharatanatyam kumi kolatam and uh, kavadi so the uh, bharatanatyam uh, is a dance uh, that is mainly performed by only women and it has mainly religious themes and uh, spiritual ideas of uh, south india and it is one of the oldest form of uh, dances in india and uh, it includes uh, drama as well uh, next is uh, kumi uh, the kumi uh, can be told as uh, a classical dance form where uh, women uh, standing in a, women stand in a circle and they clap their hands to add beads it is performed at all uh, religious ceremonies family functions and harvest festivals like a pongal uh, next you have uh, kolatam uh, kolatam is a dance performed by women uh, holding sticks which is uh, beaten to make a rhythmic sound and uh, pinnal kolatam involves making lace patterns using ropes it is uh, uh, performed during the deepavali cultural holidays for the 10 uh, uh, days 
and uh, you can you also have a kavadi attam uh, in tamil nadu uh, which is performed only by men this dance involves uh, balancing a purasai or a tea food pole with pots of milk or coconut water fixed on either end it is a religious dance worshiping the lord uh, murugan next uh, the uttar pradesh uttar pradesh you have the nautanki uh, ras leela kajri uh, jora uh, chapeli uh, jaita i hope i pronounced everything correctly uh, ras leela is one of the famous art form of the braj region of uttar pradesh uh, it uh, includes uh, towns uh, that are some way or other attached to the lord krishna and his time so the ras leela or the uh, ras leela uh, it is um, a dance form that is attached with the love of uh, lord krishna with uh, milkmaids of his village and his uh, consort uh, radha uh, the dance form was originated during the encounters of milkmaids with lord krishna and uh, the legend goes uh, that when all the milkmaids started demanding krishna to be their dance partner krishna cast a spell so that each of those milkmaids thought krishna was dancing with uh, them this uh, marked the birth of uh, ras leela so that is uh, considered one of the important uh, dance form of uttar pradesh ras leela uh, so um, next uh, we have uh, the uttarakhand in uttarakhand you have the garhwali uh, kumayuni uh, kajari jora ras leela chapeli okay you have uh, ras leela here also uh, which is uh, um, Uh, like uh, uh, a dance form that is uh, worked around uh, the lord krishna and uh, radha um, so next uh, is um, goa in goa you have uh, tarangamel then koli dekhni fugdi shigmo gothe modni samayi nritya jagar ranmale gom tonya mail uh, uh, again uh, sorry if i have uh, misread something uh, it's because uh, of the regional differences uh, it's the pronunciation differs so please pardon me if i have pronounced something wrongly among the uh, popular uh, dances comes the uh, dekhni Uh, it means uh, bewitching between uh, bewitching uh, beauty in konkani uh, a famous uh, dekhni song uh, which says han saiba uh, pultodi vetam was adapted by the legendary film maker uh, raj kapoor into the na mangun suna chandi for his uh, movie bobby uh, so dekhni is an important art form of uh, goa next uh, you can say fugdi uh, fugdi is a uh, folk dance that brightens up the months of uh, august and september the exuberant fu uh, the sound made when the dancers match the rhythm by blowing air through their mouths give the dance its name the sound fu give uh, the name uh, to the dances uh, fugdi then uh, you have uh, uh the kunbi dance uh, which is not listed here then uh, the these are the important uh, dances like uh, we discussed the dekhni and fugdi from this uh, list which is important uh, while this list is considered for the goa the art forms uh, of go next is uh, madhya pradesh uh, you have the jawara uh, matki ada khada nach phulphati grida dance uh, sela larki sela badhuni manch these are the art forms of madhya pradesh then for chatisgarh you have the gaur maria the panti raut nacha 
பண்ட்வானி வேதாமதி கப்பாலிக் பர்டாரி சாரெட் அண்ட் சந்தாயினி தென் ஃபார் ஜார்க்கண்ட் யூ ஹேவ் அல்காப் கர்மா முண்டா அக்னி ஜூமர் ஜனானி ஜூமர் மர மர்டானா ஜூமர் பைக்கா பகுவா ஹண்டா டான்ஸ் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் எ லாட் ஆஃப் லிஸ் கோயிங் ஆன் அண்ட் ஃபார் அருணாச்சல் பிரதேஷ் யூ ஹேவ் புய்யா சாலோ வான்சோ பாசி கொங்கி போனுங் போப்பிர் பர்தோ சாம் ஃபார் மணிப்பூர் யூ ஹேவ் டோல் சோலம் தன் தா லாய் ஹரோபா கும்ப் சோலாம் காம்பா டைவி நுபா டான்ஸ் ராஸ் லீலா குபாக் இஷே லவ் ஷா தென் ஃபார் மேகாலயா யூ ஹேவ் கா ஷா சுக் மைன்சியம் நொங்க்ரீன் லாஹோ மிசோராம் ஹேஸ் சுரா டான்ஸ் குல்லம் சைலம் சவுலாக்கின் ஸோ த லிஸ்ட் ஷோ தென் நாகாலாண்ட் ஹேஸ் தி ரங்கம் பாம்பு டான்ஸ் தென் தி சீலாங் தி கெட்லிங் கம் கெட்டிங் கிளிம் ஐ ஐ டோன் நோ லைக் தி ப்ரொனன்சியேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் கரெக்ட் ஆர் நாட் ப்ளீஸ் ஃபார் கிவ் மீ இஃப் ஐ ஆம் மேக்கிங் எனி மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் இன் ரீடிங் திஸ் Uh, words because it's like very local to that uh, region as the word folk dance says it is very local to that particular region and it might have a particular pronunciation too so i am very sorry if i am making any mistakes next uh, you have tripura uh, tripura have uh, hojadri as its uh, folk then sikkim has uh, the list uh, shown uh, i'm not reading it out because uh, it's like a long list uh, please uh, go through uh, lakshadweep has uh, lava kolkali kolkali uh, paricha kali etc then uh, so these are the uh, various folk forms uh, of uh, uh, folk forms of uh, india or the folk dance forms of india the last few slides i didn't uh, explain uh, because i didn't feel that it's like very important uh, but uh, you may get questions uh, from this area like so i'll just introduce you to the various uh, questions that is uh, uh, that can be asked from the folk and the classical dance uh, uh classical dances and uh, subject okay so let us uh, find out the questions and the answers so one what is the full form of sna it is uh, sangeet natak academy sna is sangeet natak academy it is uh, the one who approves the classical dance uh, forms uh, along with the government of india okay so how many traditional dances are uh, considered as the indian classical dances by the sangeet natak academy that is 8 uh, answer is 8 now what is the dance of lord shiva called it is nataraja what does the word nataraja mean it means the lord of dance next uh, what is the goddess of dance its answer is tarpishor tarpishor is a goddess of dance where did kathak originate so kathak originated like the answer is northern india kathak originated from northern india next what are the eight classical dances of india okay the answer is bharatanatyam kathak kuchipudi odissi kathakali satriya manipuri mohiniyattam these are very well described in the uh, previous slides okay so what is the term for uh, various art performances uh, rooted in religious hindu musical uh, theater styles it is called as shastriya devesh now what is the classical dance of assam it is satriya when did kathak dance begin it is 4th century bc next question where is the word kathakali derived from it is from malayalam uh next question chirav is the dance of which 
state answer is uh, mizoram which state has two classical dance listed on the sangeet natak academy it is uh, kerala uh, kerala has uh, two classical dance that is uh, listed in the sangeet uh, natak academy which is uh, um, kathakali and um, mohiniyattam uh, now what are the two classical dances of kathakali uh, yeah, you have uh, that question here uh, as the, what are the two classical dances of kerala it's kathakali and mohiniyattam what is the name of uh, rain dance of tripura it is called as hojagiri dance hojagiri dance is called as rain dance of tripura next what is the name of folk dance of assam okay assam's important folk dance is called as bihu and you have uh, bagurumba too bihu and bagurumba are the folk dances of assam next question what is the name of the indian dance where sticks are used so that is uh, garba and dandiyaras okay what are the sticks used in dandiya dance called the sticks used in dandiya dance is called as dandiya answer is dandiya next what is the name of manipuri dance the name of manipuri dance it is jagoi what is the name of bamboo dance it is chera answer is chera bamboo dance is called as chera what is what was garba dance sorry where was garba dance originated garba dance is for gujarat so answer is gujarat where what is the punjabi dance called okay so punjab is always famous for bangra dance so of course the answer will be uh, bangra okay punjab dance is called as bangra next question which instruments are used for producing folk music of punjab so the answer is thumbi algons dart sarangi and uh, chimta these are the five instruments please uh, memorize it uh, they it's used for making folk music of punjab the folk dance uh, jumair belongs to which states so you have uh, the jumair folk dance which is belonging to five states which is bihar jharkhand chatisgarh odisha and west bengal okay so the same folk dance for five states uh, next the question bharatanatyam is a famous dance of which state answer is tamil nadu uh, next question what is the traditional women's folk dance of rajasthan okay traditional women's folk dance of rajasthan answer is gumar now when is garba dance performed the so it is uh, answer is navratri garba is performed in the navratri season next uh, question dumal dance belongs to which union territory it belongs to the uh, jammu and kashmir answer is jammu and kashmir name of the uh, rajasthani dance performed by deepika padukone in the padmavat movie so what is that art form uh, called which uh, deepika padukone uh, plays in the padmavat movie it is goomar and that uh, dance form is called as goomar uh, next which uh, musical instrument is pandit ravi shankar uh, to produce indian classical music okay so pandit ravi shankar uses which uh, musical instrument to produce classical music it is sitar answer is sitar what are the common musical instruments used in the hindustani classical music hindustani classical music uh, so you have uh, six uh, musical instruments used one is sitar next is veena then shenai uh, tabla harmonium uh, basuri etc these are the uh, six uh, musical instruments used for uh, hindustani classical music next uh, which dance perform this which dance is performed in ganesh chaturthi by the women of goa and maharashtra it is called as the fugdi answer is fugdi mm. the classical dance of andhra pradesh what is a classical dance of andhra pradesh it is kuchipudi now lavani koli and uh, lasim are the popular dance of uh, which state uh, that is uh, maharashtra okay Maharashtra has uh, uh, this uh, 
ఆర్ట్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఫోక్ ఆర్ట్ ఫార్మ్స్ లవాని కోలి అండ్ లసిన్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ ఈస్ ద ఫేమస్ డ్యాన్స్ ఇన్ పంజాబ్ ఓకే పంజాబ్ హ్యాస్ గిడ్డా అండ్ బాంగ్రా నా నాక్టి డ్యాన్స్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు విచ్ స్టేట్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ హిమాచల్ ప్రదేశ్ హైరి హనీ ఇస్ ది ఫోక్ డ్యాన్స్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ స్టేట్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ అరుణాచల్ ప్రదేశ్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ గోరియా అండ్ లబాంగ్ బుమాని డ్యాన్స్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు విచ్ స్టేట్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ త్రిపుర వాట్ ఈస్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద టైగర్ డ్యాన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ పులి వి ఇషాం నెక్స్ట్ విచ్ డ్యాన్స్ ఇస్ పర్ఫామ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ది ప్యాంగ్ లబ్సోల్ ఫెస్టివల్ ఇన్ హోనర్ ఆఫ్ గార్డియన్ డేటీ ఖాంగ్ చెంగ్ సోంఘా ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్యాంగ్ టోట్ చా దట్ ఈస్ ది ఆన్సర్ దట్ ఈస్ ద డ్యాన్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ పర్ఫామ్డ్ ఇన్ హోనర్ ఆఫ్ ది గార్డియన్ డైటీ నేమ్ సమ్ ఫోక్ డ్యాన్సర్స్ ఆఫ్ వెస్ట్ బెంగాల్ ఓకే సో ది ఆన్సర్ టు దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ గజాన్ సంథాలి డ్యాన్స్ జాత్రా కలికా పఠాడై కలికా పఠాడి ఎక్సెట్రా ఈస్ ఆర్ ద ఫోక్ డ్యాన్సర్స్ ఆఫ్ వెస్ట్ బెంగాల్ నేమ్ ది ఇండియన్ డ్యాన్స్ దట్ వాజ్ రివైవ్డ్ బై వల్లతోల్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ కథకళి కథకళి వాజ్ రివైవ్డ్ బై వత వల్లతోల్ బగూరుంబా ఈస్ ద పాపులర్ డ్యాన్స్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ స్టేట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ అసాన్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ హూ హ్యాస్ పాపులరైజ్ ద ఇండియన్ క్లాసికల్ డ్యాన్స్ అబ్రాడ్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ ఉదయ్ శంకర్ ఓకే ఉదయ్ శంకర్ వాజ్ ద పర్సన్ who popularized the indian classical dance abroad next question what is the name of the classical dance of odisha it is called as odissi rauf is a dance of which union territory of india answer is jammu and kashmir theoretical dance of haryana answer is sang ras leela ras leela and ragini next question which dance is performed by the kuruba tribe of Kar- karnataka answer is the kuruba nritya next question popular folk dance of jharkhand performed during harvest season and the festival it is jumar next question which dance has three distinct phases seela seelal seelarki and seela badhuni the answer is grida dance of madhya pradesh it has uh, three phases seela seela larki and uh, seela badhuni next question shad suk mainsiam and the shad non gray non cream are the four dances of which state uh, sorry i might have mispronounced it but uh, it is uh, very regional words so i may make a mistake sorry for it and uh, the answer to the question is uh, meghalaya next question name of the dance of uh, chang tribe of nagaland it is swalu uh, next question bang nach refers to which animal the animal answer is tiger next question well known dance of puducherry answer is garadi next question malwai gidha of punjab is performed by which gender the answer is males so males only perform the malwai gidha art form of punjab tamang shailo and khang thambo are the traditional dances of which state it is sikkim answer is sikkim next question parai atam or uh, tappa atam is the dance of which state the answer is tamil nadu next question perini shiva tandavam is an ancient dance of which state answer is telangana next question dance of odisha where uh, boy dancers dress up as girls it is called as goti puva dance dance of odisha where boy dancers dress up as girls it is called as goti puva dance next question ceremonial dance of haryana what are the ceremonial dance that is part of haryana one is the mal dance next is boomer next is jumar then khoria dance lur dance and ragni all these are like ceremonial dances of haryana 
Next question, which creative art is a sonal mansing distinguished? Sonal mansing distinguished. The answer is Indian classical dancer. Next question, what is uh, Kudiyatam? So, Kudiyatam is a dance form. Uh, next question, Giddha is a popular folk dance of which state of India? Uh, it is an art form of Punjab. This question gets uh, repeated uh, about Giddha and Bhangra. So, please just uh, keep in your mind, Giddha and Bhangra are uh, uh, popular art forms, folk dance forms of Punjab. Next question, uh, most popular folk dance of North Bihar, it is Jat Jatin, okay. It is Jat Jatin. Next question, which Gujarati folk dance is celebrated on Navratri? It is Garba, okay, Garba is celebrated on Navratri. Next question, Mayur Natriya is the dance form of which state? Its answer is Uttar Pradesh. Next question, which Indian instrument is a Anuradha Pal associated. So, it, uh, with which Indian instrument is Anuradha Pal associated? Answer is uh, Tabla. Next question, Kartal Cholam and uh, Kubak Ishai dancers belong to which state? Answer is Manipur. Next question, uh, Che Lam and uh, Ralu Lam dancers belong to which state? Answer is uh, Misora. This uh, belongs to Misora. Next question. Langvir Nritya and the Pandava Nritya dances belong to which state? Answer is Uttarakhand. Next question. Famous dancers of India. Who are the famous dancers of India? So here we have Uday Shankar, Mallika Sarabhai. Um, Ranalini, Sarabhai, etc. Here uh, Uday Shankar was a person who uh, uh, like who took the classical uh, music outside India. So who, who popularized the classical music outside India. Next question. What is the foundational treatise for classical dances of India? It is uh, Natya Shastra. Natya Shastra is the foundation of classical dances of India. So that's uh, the question answer sessions of uh, the classical and the folk dance art forms. Uh, thank you friends uh, for uh, being with us in this uh, session from uh, Defense IAS Academy. I hope uh, you are now well thorough with the uh, classical art forms and the folk art forms uh, of uh, India. If you have any queries, please do put a comment so that we can reply to it. And if you like the video, please do share it with your friends. And uh, please subscribe to the channel Defense IAS Academy. Thank you.